Hi, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I am currently sitting in my 1974 Sea Ray SRV 240 Weekender. It's a boat that I bought a couple of years ago as a project boat. When I got it, it was completely rotted. Uh, since then, I have structurally rebuilt the whole boat. Uh, you can take a look at my older videos to see what I've done in it so far. Uh, the link for those is below. Currently, I am working on the interior of the cabin. And uh, in this video, I show some of the things that I was doing to get ready to install the hull liner, the headliner in the boat. I also did a little more work on the galley cabinets. And uh, with that, let's get to what I've been doing. To get the boat ready for installing the headliner or hull liner or whatever you want to call it, uh, I needed to make sure that all of the holes and possible leaks from above were dealt with properly. So the stainless screws that I ordered online finally showed up. So I got the navigation lights reinstalled uh, using the new stainless fasteners and some 3M 5200 sealant to make sure the water can't get in. I also soldered the wiring connections and covered them with heat shrink. Uh, I could have just used crimp connectors, but where the wiring is going to be covered by the headliner, I don't want to have to deal with it later. I just want it to be secure. The old air horn location up on top of the deck, um, there was a 3 8 inch hole coming through the deck into the cabin. I had just temporarily taped it to keep water from coming in. I'm going to relocate the horn somewhere else. So I just mixed up some polyester resin, thickened it with cabocil and some chopped strand fiberglass and uh, squeezed that into the hole. I just had some tape over the bottom of the hole to keep it from dripping all the way through. Once that was cured, I wiped down the whole ceiling inside with a uh, rag with acetone on it to remove any residue and bits of foam, give it a clean surface to stick to. Once I got that ready, I started working on the lower part of the galley cabinets. First thing was the bottom part of the cabinet. I cut a hole for the door latch on the lower cabinet door. And then I removed that door because I wanted to finish up the cabinets. I didn't want the hinges and everything in the way when I'm doing the staining and the sealing of the wood. Last time around, I showed that I had stained the top for the galley cabinet. This time around, I stained the front in the left end panel and then all three of those parts got sealed with clear polyurethane. They will need some more polyurethane on them. The first coat is just to protect them and uh, just to get them sealed up. I'm going to have to do some light sanding and then a couple more coats but I'll do that later. I also sand and prepped and stained part of the upper cabinet work as well as the front wall for the cabin. And then the part that goes around the window, uh, I enlarged the hole for the switches and then cut, glued and clamped in a piece of wood for a rear support so I can recess that switch panel. Uh, once that glue was dry, I sanded and stained that panel as well, as well as that small box that attaches to it to cover part of the ceiling. And then the last thing uh, for this video is that I removed the lower right side of the lower cabinet. It's that piece that I made out of just some leftover plywood around here. Uh, it's not going to be seen once it's installed. I pulled it out, cut some more holes in it to allow access for various water lines from the bilge pumps and things like that to get through to the through hulls. And then added some support to it for a shelf that goes under the helm. I also glued on some bracing to stiffen the panel, especially once I cut parts of it out. So that's it for this time. If you like the video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to catch up on the other things I've done on this boat up till now, like I said at the beginning of the video, take a look at the links below 
and you can catch up on everything I've done on this thing so far. See you next time.